Welcome to Permadeath Extraordinaire, where I'm more or less just doing a little bit of practice, and I figured rather than do it off camera, I'd go ahead and do it on camera, because I have a couple people that are interested in uh, the general game of Arma. So I figured what we'll do is we'll do a little dynamic universal war system, because that is a pretty uh, pretty good catch-all, actually. It um, can show a lot of the different game, so or a lot of the game. So we're going to do some of that. Now normally this is of course for uh, teamwork, but eh, you can pull it off alone. Like I said, I'm doing this because I did a stream earlier and I found out that I am hideously out of practice on uh, my favorite game and that's silly. So, set a couple of parameters here. I always enable fatigue. Teach good habits. Afternoon. Enable attack aircraft. Enable the IEDs. Okay. Basic parameters. Pretty basic stuff there. And we are going to be... We can be anything we want, but we're going to go with repair because that will allow us to fix vehicles. And we're playing on the island of Bornholm, which is a end-user made island, specifically made for Arma 3, so it is not just a crappy Arma 2 port that everybody's been using. Uh, so this actually has the proper physics and all built into it. I personally think porting stuff in from Arma 2 is foolish when they give you every editing tool for free as part of the game, and you could just make stuff for Arma 3. <laughs> but I know it's so much easier just to port something in and say you're a genius coder. I know. Okay, so let's manually place our base. I have a particular favorite area I like to drop the base in because it's defensible. And I don't know where it is. That's not it. There it is. We shall put our base right here. Alright, setting up a couple parameters here, just um this allows you to set up the war. Basically, you can do low-end or high-end combat depending on what you set your starting army power to. Uh, in this case, we're going to go... Since I'm running alone and I'm going to get my ass handed to me a lot, I'm just going to go max points, fuck it. And we'll give up for a little bit of starting firepower. The enemy will be commando. Our guys are going to be elite. This is just base friendly AIs. Um, so I generally set them to elite so they can defend the base because there's not very many of them. And let's go with temperate cold. Okay, so I have a slight disadvantage. The enemy team has more command points than I do, um, or army points, which basically means they have slightly better equipment. But I have a bunch of points, so because I'm working alone. All right, let's go ahead and start this up. It'll be just a minute while this stuff uh, loads in. It's a good idea to keep your weapon not at the ready. That way you don't shoot the officer when you accidentally hit the fire button. And again, just gotta wait a minute or two. I could actually run around and do stuff, but the lag is real. And, you know, you're not gonna really accomplish anything in a couple of minutes while it's loading anyway. So 
So what the game is doing right now is it's randomly generating a number of objectives. So in effect, what this is is it's a instant war for you and your friends to just plug in, jump into, and start playing. Uh, I'm a big fan of the dynamic universal war system. I think it's a lot of fun and particularly useful for smaller clans. And it also avoids the whole linear mission thing, which some people like the linear missions. You know, I, I'll, I'll do a mission. But uh, if you want the actual just kind of open feel of uh, combat dynamic systems, probably the way to go. There are several variations of it. Another variation I like to play is, uh, and it's not really a variation, it's a separate model on its own, is um, Capture the Island, which will do some of that. Alright. Okay, let's pick up some stuff here. What we want to do is we're going to spend our command points to get things. Uh, supply drop, which will drop supplies in the field. Um, what else are we going to get? Let's get Helo Taxi. That'll give us the ability to have the AI drop us into... Let's see, we don't need a boat taxi yet. to think there's anything else oh yeah that's right armory i need that where is it armory unlock okay that'll give me the ability to customize my weapons now we're gonna want to i'm probably in addition to the main missions which by the way what it was doing was it was generating all these zones we have a research station communication station research bunker an outpost way to the south campsite and another communication station now in addition to this, I can go to the commander here and I can request special missions or side missions. And we can scroll through these and see what they got to offer. Recover mobile tele transport or teleport vehicle. That could be useful. No way I'm pulling that one off alone. Uh, diffuse the Gorgon. That's a command vehicle that if we rescue it, we can get it. That's basically almost the same thing. Save the commanding officer. You must find defuse codes, make it back to the HQ, and disarm a bomb that has been attached to your officer. <laughs> That's one of those that if you win, you get a bunch of command points. If you lose, the officer blows up and you lose. Game over. Friendly patrol has been ambushed and needs rescue. And an enemy truck full of supplies. We'll take that. Okay, so now that mission has become active and it'll show up on the map here. There it is. And I, 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 I should have studied the map a little closer before I took that mission. I was hoping it was kind of here in between these two. It's a little closer to that one than I thought. All right, okay, so... First thing we're going to have to do is we got to deal with this research station because it's so close to our base. I'm all alone. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get some recon on this place. Starting with this mountain. For fast recon... Oops, that's the wrong. I want the diff the other ammo box. There we go. Here we we'll go with this one.
close that hatch. I'm an idiot. Uh, it would be good to have a vehicle. So we're going to get ourselves a car. We're going to request a empty, since we're going traveling light, empty ATV. We're on our way, 1.1 kilometers. Ooh, hopefully it won't crash, okay. Nobody can drive in this game. It's hard to drive in this game. I can't drive in this game. But I do love making fun of everybody else. <laughs> I do have to be kind of cautious in the fact that there are enemy patrols that do wander the map and attempt to find your base and attack it. But this early in, we shouldn't have too much to worry about. Oh, that looks pretty steep. All right, we're good. Yeah, 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 we're good. Oh, that's a rock. <laughs> Thought that was a bush. Oh no, that's the ground I'm hitting. Okay, it's too steep. There we go. I was nose diving into the ground. Ouch. That's a tree. Broke my wheel. No biggie. No biggie. Now in a realism simulator I would park this in the barn there for concealment. But since we're kind of alone and I generally know where the enemy is, I'm just gonna take this thing all the way up here. Probably get shot. Turn it around in case we have to get the hell out of here really fast. And unfortunately I don't have a repair kit on me, so I don't think I can actually fix this thing. Uh, I'll take a couple of first aid kits, why not? Okay, let's see now. I carry a number of scopes on me. We're gonna go with the long range precision. shit. Game just fucked me. I hit that ledge right here, and that caused me to step up. Thankfully, I don't think they saw me. Oh, yes, they did. Shit. Hmm. Well, so much for the element of damn surprise. if they're coming up here. I would.
Okay, the flanks look pretty good here, so let's see what we can do from up here. Damn them. Curses. Sounds like they're getting a little close. Time to get the hell out of here. Unfortunately, this damaged wheel kind of hurts. hill back. Check our map here. Is there any other approach that's as good? No, not really. Maybe try for... Oh, actually, maybe we could swing into Niker. Let's try that. We'll get a new angle, because they might override that hill. Overrun it, I should say. Alright, let's see if my thing will still drive. Yes, it will. Barely. I gotta remember to bring a toolkit, just like earlier when I was um, playing the holdout. And I was in the medic slot, but I didn't bring my medic supplies. It's very, very, very bad. And I did the same thing here. I chose the mechanic slot. And don't have a toolkit on me. Okay, it seems pretty clear out here. Oh shit, we're being shot. Oh shit. Oh, we just about got rocketed. Do you see that? Oh, no. <sighs> Those trees saved our ass. Oh, shit. That was close. That was a grenade. Wowzers. Okay. That was fun. <laughs> okay, now the guy did port in some buildings from Arma 2. Um, you may recognize these on my right from Taviana. Okay, in the future that'll show on the map in case I need it if I'm in this area. Okay, now. Let's make our way. Let's go see what these buildings have for us. It's the easiest way to get there is um, put a way marker on the map and then you can see exactly where you need to be. In... Um, once again, in, I have two modes of play in this game. I've got messing around mode, which is kind of what I've been doing the past couple of streams, and I've actually got realism mode, um, which is when I assume that there's going to be other living people, or I'm part of a realism unit. I play much differently when there's other living people around. But I generally don't stream that because... I wouldn't want my secrets to get out. <laughs> and I gotta... Qu Actually, I don't have any secrets. I'm just not particularly good, so I'd be embarrassed if I, uh, if I streamed it. Or maybe I do have secrets and I'm just lying. Who knows? Who knows?
I don't think there's any cover up there, otherwise that'd be a great place. Unfortunately, I'm carrying a little... I think my combat load might be just a little too heavy. I need to tweak all my combat loads anyway. Like, just change a little bit of gear, that kind of stuff. And let's check the chat, see if anybody's talking. Nobody's talking. Cool. And how you got how you doing this guy? This guy wins. I like it. I like that name. That's a good name. It uh exudes a sense of confidence. And <laughs> a sense of confidence is always appreciated. Too many people lack confidence. Oh crap. I'm not entirely confident I can do anything about that. Yeah. Okay, so we'll keep that in mind. What I'm really looking for while I'm out here is to get an idea of what we're up against, you know, things like that. And also to see if I can take out anybody with a tube on their back. Any rocket troop I can get my greedy little eyes on is worth shooting. Okay, that's the main objective right there. And that is a patrolling vehicle that I... I don't like it. By the way, would be snipers up on rooftops and stuff like this, like in windows. Don't shoot from here. Be smart. Get back into the room where you're less visible and shoot from back. I see so many people shooting from windows and they're standing right in the window and it's like, um, yeah. Okay, tubes on back. I see no tubes on back. This is a pretty lightly defended garrison, it looks like. I think I might try and nick a couple of guys while I'm here. I should probably get some range on that. Looking at about 400, it looks like. Now we know there's some guys with tubes because they were shooting at us. We were getting shot from over that direction somewhere. I'm surprised they haven't seen me out here yet. Excuse me. Frog decided to jump down my throat. Damn rude frogs. Shit. He's going for that double shot. Sh you bastards. How did I not hit him the other two times? Yep, they're on to me. Time to go. 
Holy shit. That was heavy caliber. I think those came right through the room, right, right through the wall. Not from this direction. I don't think. And this is why I'm here practicing. Because my aim is just terrible. I haven't been playing with shooters. I've been playing a lot of Sims lately. There's one of my targets that I'd really like to take out if I can. I don't think I'm getting velocity on these bullets. I don't think they're doing what they need to do. And take off the silencer. That should up our velocity. It's not like they don't know where I am already anyway, so I'm not really getting anything out of the silencer right now. One down. Shit. It's a terrible shot. Okay, so... That Gorgon's a bit of a problem. I'm gonna have to deal with that thing. That's a grenade. I think he just fired a grenade at me. No. Nope. Oh, maybe he did. Can't even see where my rounds are landing. Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> we don't want to take that thing on. I think I'm going to have to extract back to base and bring in some slightly heavier firepower here. I think that's what's going to be happening here. Shit. 
shit. Thankfully they're not moving on me. I don't think. Under Amen. That guy right there. Guy with the tube on his back. Him. I've nicked him. I just need to finish him. Got him. Okay, so, so far so good. We, yeah, we're going to come back with a little bit heavier firepower here. I could sit here and one-off these guys because they're not, they're not actively moving against me. So far. But it's only a matter of time before that Gorgon, the vehicle, sees me. This rate will be here five hours. I can I can up the ante a little bit here. Oh jeez, I lost breath right as I was gonna take the shot. This is our last clip of ammo. How am I not hitting you? Come on. There it is, finally. Yeah, do keep in mind, most of these people have integrated body armor on. These aren't just fancy clothes. Okay, well, let's see, what do we got on us? Probably a whole lot of nothing, actually. Mm -hmm. You know what, since I'm playing alone, there's not a lot of people. Oh my god, did you see that?
Is it just one, or... If they usually don't just, you know, there's usually not just one. Oh no! <laughs> That's alright, I needed to return to base anyway. What I was contemplating on doing, by the way, before I just got shot and ambushed there, but it's good to know that they actually did move on me. I was uh, a little disappointed that they were just hanging out there waiting for me to snipe them. But in any event, um, what I was planning on doing was I was going to drop my backpack for later use. Okay, so what we want... Now let's try flying. I'm a terrible pilot, by the way, but we'll try it out. And let's grab... But I need some pilot practice. Whoa. Okay, something horrible just happened. I think my helicopter may have spawned in a wall. Let's go see what that what happened out here. Yeah, sure enough. Let's, uh, let's repair this thing. Let's see if we can get it off the ground. Okay, so our spawn location sucks. That's gonna hurt. I'll we'll just use auto hover because I just want to put it down as quickly as possible. And I'm going to go loop my body here. Can't I take the fatigues? You know what? Screw you. I'll just go load up a new gear set. Alright, where are we? Armory. Load that gear. Do I have a repair kit? Yeah, I got a tool kit. I guess that's as good as I can repair it. Okay, well we're gonna fly this piece of junk into combat. Get killed, and then we'll come get another one. Or we'll get another something. I'm kinda a little bummed. I almost wanna move the spawn point. It's not like we've accomplished anything, you know? Yeah, this tail rotor being hurt sucks. Oh god, the rotors, the rotors are no good. A little bit of a struggle to keep this thing on a level plane. Hmm. 
Hmm. No control. Well, like I said, after it spawned in and got damaged, I basically just had to get rid of it anyway, so. And this is what happens when you fight a war by yourself. You get your ass handed to you. That's okay. You know what? We can do this the smart way. And the smart way will be... Let's get a vehicle. We'll go with the hunter. Oh god. Yeah, we're gonna have to move the spawn point a little bit. <clears throat> I'm after to restart this. Which we'll just do and we'll keep the video running. Because what's happening is as I spawn in vehicles, they're hitting that barricade and that's causing them to default and explode. Which, yeah, it happens. <laughs> Jasmine, and I, I was planning on taking some enemies with me, but when you heard, did you hear that uh, beeping sound? That was somebody with a radar lock. I got hit by a anti-aircraft rocket. So once I got hit by that rocket, it was pretty much done. And then, yeah, because because of, of my spawn point, it's blowing everything up. And two bit, yeah, the the creaking and groaning and you know w general wiggling in your helicopter is awesome. It highly recommended. If your helicopter doesn't, you know, do its own thing, then, uh, yeah, it's bad chopper. <laughs> yeah, uh, the, the beeping sound, the rapid beeping that you heard, what that means is that's uh, the computer warning that somebody has a radar lock. And then they just, it, from there on, it's fire and forget. Uh, one thing about Arma 3, and even back into Arma 2, is modern warfare... Aircraft, you have to use them very carefully because just about anybody can carry an anti-aircraft rocket that's self-guided that pretty much can hit you. When the flares run out, flares run out. And flares aren't always, they're not a guarantee that you're going to be safe. Um, but we'll get into a little bit more of that here in just a minute. I'm going to reset this and change the spawn location a little ways. Um, so let's go back. Born home, veteran, blah blah. Um, I'm on repair. Parameters. Definitely enable those. Uh, gotta turn on fatigue. I turn on fatigue to learn good habits. A lot of people turn it off. I try and keep it on. So that way, when you go into a military realism server, you uh, can keep up. You know what I mean? Because they know how to balance their fatigue. And if you don't learn how to balance your fatigue, you'll be playing the fool. Okay, I also wanted... Those are on. That's on. That's on. That's on. That's on blah, 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 blah. Okay. Back to repair specialist. Okay. I love that in the upper uh, right corner. I'm running a modded game. Really? Hmm. I had no idea I was running a modded game here on Bornholm. Okay. Let's change it up a little bit. We'll make it even slightly more realistic. We hold the airfield. trying to think now where's a good place to hold the airfield because the enemy's pretty clever and can get up on you sometimes actually let's go back where we were and just move the spawn a little bit okay so this is the wall that was causing our crap to explode And this is kind of where I put the base area, so I'm just going to try right here, and we'll see where the computer puts us. Okay, let's get our zones set up. Let's go with a thousand meter max. Three hundred fifty, and I'm going to keep it at four zones for now. We'll put them a little ways from the base; they can spawn up to. 
I want to kind of tour the island. The purpose of the stream is just kind of to show some stuff, you know, and play around a little bit and show uh, Bornholm Island, so I'll put them a little ways away. This is how far away can these enemy zones spawn. So if you're looking for a quicker game, set it for like five kilometers and everything will spawn in really close and you can get right to it. If you're looking for a more extended campaign, uh, then you can set it anything in between. We do allow fast travel, we do allow helo taxi. Take these guys up to commando. Give myself a bunch of points to mess around with. We'll tone up for down a little bit. Okay, just double checking. I usually forget something. Okay. Let's see if we're in a different location or if I need to. Looks like we're about in the same place. Okay, I'm going to assume the computer... Well, no, actually it put me right where I pointed. Usually it doesn't do that. Usually... No, it didn't. It didn't put me where I pointed, because that's where I pointed. Okay, so with luck, the computer knows better than we do, and um, has placed this wisely. Okay, right now, I'm going to let this generate, and I'm going to step away for a quick second, grab a tasty beverage, and I will be right back. I never dug the monitor out of the closet. I've just gotten more conscientious about going back and forth and checking chat. Just shh, but don't tell anybody.
Uh, I'm a big fan of strong coffee and staying up later than you should. But, uh, okay, so... Um, okay, so let's get back to it for a little bit here. Let's, uh, let's see if we can spawn a vehicle in without it exploding. Okay, a couple of pieces of advice to anybody who plays this dynamic war system. Close this hatch, because they will shoot your commander through the hatch and you'll lose the scenario. All your hard work can go to nothing if the space gets attacked and destroyed. Oh, and 2-Bit, it was you who mentioned uh, Cataclysm, Dark Days Ahead. I had a look into that, and you're right, I don't know what I'm talking about. I poked around a little bit, and that game looks pretty effing cool. Uh, I might have to play it every once in a while in my spare time. Um, but it definitely does look like a time investment, uh, a heavy time sink, and I'm kind of facing a couple of heavy time sinks right now um, and trying to juggle them all. And then I've got a buddy who wants me to play a little War Thunder, and that actually looks like a fun game. Um, the Cataclysm comes to mind. Uh, I just um, actually was given a uh, much appreciated copy of Don't Starve Together, which is magnificent. That game is really cool. I'm um, looking forward to seeing where it goes. It's like playing a Tim Burton movie when he was good before he started getting weird. Because nowadays, I don't know about Burton. I, I don't know. The Depp and Burton dream team is starting to do weird stuff. Alice in Wonderland sucked. I mean, uh, no, it sucked. I was trying to look for something good, but I can't. Okay, so let's see now. First thing we need to do is buy our stuff. So let's get our supply drop. Armory. Taru. Taru. And... I'll pick up a boat taxi if I need it. You know what? You never can tell when you're going to need it, and it's somewhat cheap. Where is it? Boat Taxi. This is a different version of Dynamic War System that I'm used to playing, so uh, if I am a little derpy on the controls, you may notice that. Okay, let's have a look at our objectives. What do we got? Four zones pretty much spread around. Let's see if we can pull an easy side mission. Get a few extra bucks. Recover transport vehicle. Ooh, defuse the Gorgon. That's... If I had a couple of guys with me, I'd be in there in two seconds. Because um, these are fun missions. These timed ones are... Because you have to find the shutoff codes and... Yeah. Friendly patrol. Kind of trying to find an assassination mission because they're easy. Like this one. Okay, so we have to go out and take out an officer. That's basically what that mission is. Oh, and it's right next to the refit station. Let's see, how many clicks out are we? Five, not many. Hmm. Right, terrible forests to the south. Vehicle refit. Hmm. Let's see. I think I might... I think I'm going to throw it. I think I'm going to throw the scenario for a loop. Thinking of the logistics of my idea, it would be kind of a pain in the ass.
Okay, I just bought OP. Mwahaha. <laughs> ha 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 ha. Okay. So let's take our little OP friend over here. Park him right against this wall and snuggy so nothing can hopefully nothing will blow him up. And this, my friends, is a heavy artillery piece. Mobile artillery. Self-propelled artillery, if you will. And we're going to request ourselves an AI unit. And we're going to put him in as the gunner. Did he appear outside of the perimeter? Yep, he sure did. Wow, he appeared a long ways away. So, Davis. We're gonna have you hop in there as the gunner. Two, gunner, get in that vehicle. Copy that. It'll take him two and a half years because I don't think the AI recognizes these portholes. I haven't seen him use them yet. So he's probably going to end up walking yep, all the way around to that entrance and all the way back and then he'll get into the scorcher. Okay, now what are we going to do? We're going to go out here. And we're going to get some gear. Now when you're playing single player, you kind of have to do a little juggling, by the way. So I'll show you a little juggling I here. Need ammo. You don't need no ammo. Man, that's close to the building. Okay, so what we're going to do here is I'm just going to throw a toolkit into here. There's already one in there, huh? Oh, well. Waiting. And a little bit of basic gear. I'll throw that mine in there. Why do I have one of each? That's dumb. Oh, well. Actually, I don't like Aper's mine, so I'm just going to keep that with me and screw it. Two, three, and four. Drop the vermin in there. Yeah, you can always use more grenades. We'll take these out because I I'm not a big fan of smoke. Not working alone and you know all that. There's a lot of reasons. Oops, I just picked up something I didn't want to pick up. There it is. Okay. And we'll take this gun, throw it in our backpack. And we'll take this gun and throw it in our backpack. Need the GPS. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to drop all this crap off and get a new, another loadout. Because more for attack, I'm going to use that chopper for moving around. Whoops, that was not what I wanted to do. I totally forgot how to play this game. Ah. Uh, We're gonna try an assassination mission, so we'll go with Big Snipey. I'm out. And my uniform doesn't match because I have to wear these green fatigues because they don't allow me to wear the urban camouflage ones because those are bad guy clothes, I guess.
I just don't even know where I'm going to land to get in close. I guess the city? That'll work. That's close enough. That's good enough for him. Checking that chat. And we're airborne. Oh, those wheat fields down below. Those are bad. It's deep wheat. There's no cover. Um, just, you can't see anything. It's going to be a little bit of a walk, but the approach is just terrible. How far out are we? About a kilometer. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Altitude is our friend, so we're going to make our way to this barn first. And then we're going to hook up and try and get into the rock pile. meters we're a little ways out of the zone yeah okay we're gonna risk it Too, too much, too much. <laughs> Auto hover to the rescue. Oof. That's not good. Not good. Quit it. 
quit it. Uh oh. <laughs> that was almost horrible. I'm really actually surprised I didn't explode. Or bounce up into the air 500 meters or, you know. Okay, well we're here. Um, let's go, let's see. Let's mark this. Choppa. And we're going to want to make our way this way slowly. See what we can find. Hoping this hill with its rocks and all has a defensible area. That's what I'm hoping. And I'm also hoping that I... According to the map, there's not going to be visibility because of the trees, but there might be visibility. And we'll take advantage of any openings we can see. But we're definitely in the hot zone, so we could have guys come up on us at any pretty much any time now. This is a pretty big zone, so it's bound to have quite a few troops. Probably some uh, mobiles. Time check chat while I'm waiting for my stamina. And let's see, what do we got? Um, Jasmine, tank driving is awesome stuff. I might have to do some of that. And tank pilots are few and far between. Matter of fact, that's what I do in armor. I'm armor specialist. This infantry and flying stuff is, uh, you know, I, I can do it. But as you saw like earlier, you know, Tchaikovsky, he's damn good on the ground. And he's also damn good in the air. And he's pretty good at armor. But you don't usually see him in armor because he tends to prefer infantry and air. So I would call those his specialties, but armor is what I like. You know what? If we get into a fight here, it's not going to be sniper range. This pistol actually has more range than you might think. Okay, this place is crap defensively. Okay, next. We'll shoot for that area and see if it's got anything for us. Kind of nervous being this far into the zone and not having seen anything yet. I'm worried they're going to get the drop on me. And with these heavy woods, that's entirely possible. Ooh. Starting to get starting to get scared. This little depression here is kind of, there's a lot of nooks and stuff, so I could maybe use this as a fallback point for sure. But I'm still wondering why I haven't seen anybody yet. That 
great risk to myself. I'm going to try and get cover in here. There we go. I think it's about as good as it's going to get. Hmm. Alright. I don't like being out in the open. Go, 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 go. Run into the bush and get stuck in it. Ah, oh, finally, eyes on something. Okay. Man, grid zero six two eight six two. Machine gunner, grid zero six two eight six two. I'm really worried about getting flanked. Rifleman, AT soldier, grid zero six three eight six one. I think I'm gonna nick that AT guy if I can. Got him. place and see if we can get an approach on it again make sure my stamina is at full so I'm going to take a quick second and Jasmine yeah that's what I'm, I'm mostly worried about is turn around and there's some dudes and uh, yeah, you'd, you'd be surprised how stealthily vehicles can kind of creep up on you, and before you know it, you've got this tank in your face. Oh, they're moving on me. It's fine. We can handle that. Hey, buddies, I got something for you. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Looks like they had something for me. <laughs> uh, actually, I'm going to take this opportunity to show you guys something about armor that I love. And then, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to get a team together. We'll do some multiplayer on this. Um, I've told a couple of guys that I'll be hosting one this weekend. And the invite's always open. Anybody that wants to join, I run vanilla. Other than the Bornholm map, everything else is vanilla, so you don't have to worry about mods. And, uh, yeah, let me, let me go back here. One of the more endearing things about this game is... Here we go. This is a public version of Dyslexi's um, Ballistics, Terminal Ballistics mod. And I highly recommend, if you're going to play Arma, get this mod, or this, it's on Steam, it's called the, uh, whatever the hell it was just called, you can look at the footage, um, and have a look at it, play around in it. Quick and Fun Projectile Path Tracing, that's what it's called, and it's one of the more popular Arma mods, and I highly recommend that you grab it and check it out. You can learn a lot from this. Just put all the forum posts and what everybody thinks they know aside and just grab this and come in here for yourself. Now what this is, is it allows me to trace bullets. Okay, see the tracer line there? It also shows velocity and penetration. Red is terminal. Basically, it'll kill you. Now, notice how it went from super kill to nothing. 
Okay, so let's have a look at this one. You'll see it penetrates several walls, and then when it hits to the blue, this is when you're not going to really hurt anybody from here on out. It may bounce off of them, and it may flinch them, and it may do a little bit of damage, but it's not going to do a whole lot. And you'll notice that this ray just traced off into Never Never Land. I don't know why that one is in midair. And I don't know why it ricocheted in midair. That's kind of weird. <laughs> but in any event, the guy who designed this was nice enough to include a number of vehicles, um, a number of buildings of different types, so you can test and see how your weapon actually does against various materials. As you can see, this weapon goes right through brick walls. So you'd have to be standing right about here to be safe if somebody just stood there on the other side of this wall and let you have it. Now this is a pretty high caliber gun, but pay attention to this stuff. This is the stuff that'll save your life in a fight, particularly like if you got some asshole on a Wasteland or DayZ server and uh, you're talking smack through the walls. Just let them have it. They're pretty much dead. Now you'll notice it traces the bullets all the way down, so you can actually see where they ricocheted off into the far distance. Okay, so extremely useful mod. Um, and then when it starts getting a little laggy, you just clear the lines and you can start all over. Okay, so one surprising thing is these buildings right here, these things are tough. Yeah, these are basically immune to, to bullets. Oops. See, you'll notice there's no real penetrations there at all. nothing. So, yes, very strong structures. The um, green metal militarized bunkers, bullets won't go through them, so you pretty much have to destroy, destroy it or count on precision shooting. These buildings are surprisingly tough. <laughs> Amazingly tough. The flimsy brick, not so much. Now what's funny is these little chicken coop sheds here are actually a little bit more effective than you would think. And it's because they're made out of sheet metal. Now, of course, against this gun, it's just making a liar out of me. But a lot of the smaller calibers don't really go through this one so well. And I think what you're seeing there is actual air resistance affecting those rounds in midair occasionally. And so, yeah, play around with this thing. And the best part is, is it gets a little better here. Hold on. In addition, he's included virtual ammo box and a virtual vehicle spawner. So we could grab, like, uh, let's just grab a quick Ifrit here. Everybody loves the Ifrit. Whoops, 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 not what I meant to do. Okay, let's go back to our tough building here. There we go. Now, vehicles have an entirely, a whole new paradigm. Notice how the angle affects entry. Keep that in mind when shooting angled shots. Okay, so 
again, these buildings are just stupid tough. Like, overly so. HMG didn't even go through. And that'll pretty much go through anything. It won't go through these. It'll punch right through these other buildings like they weren't there. I'll show you. I'll show you. Let's clear our lines real quick and then we'll start off with some new ones. Okay, so, anybody in here is going to get hit and flinched, maybe outright killed, depending on the angle. Uh, you'll notice that this is pretty much a kill zone, this whole room. And that's, that's vehicle weapons. Um, heavy vehicle weapons can punch through pretty much most of the ve most most everything, I guess is what I'm trying to say. These white buildings, I don't know why the hell they're so strong. I I don't know if they're like supposed to be a, a militarized structure, but they're hideously strong. Okay, let's uh, clear the lines, and let's grab ourselves something a little heavier, shall we? Let's go with everybody's favorite, the Slammer. Spawn. All right. Nope, we don't want that one. We want this one. Okay, these are tank penetrating rounds, APFSDS, which is why you're not seeing any explosions. I think it kind of hit it at a downward angle. Now I'm actually, I'm kind of curious to see if this went through. Oh, oh yeah, easy. Right through, right through, right on through. And maintained, of course, terminal velocity until it embedded itself in the ground. Somewhere around here. Okay, so the ultra strong building, not so much for tank penetrating anti armor rounds. Not entirely surprising. Let's load into the slammer again. Clear the lines. And let's see how many crates we can punch through. Yeah, it <laughs> probably went all the way through. Uh-huh. Yepper. Yepper. And maintain terminal until it embedded itself in the ground. Red basically means kill you, you're dead. Wow, I thought it maybe penetrate and not blow the thing up right away, but okay. Now you'll notice it went right through the Ifrit. No problem. Maintained velocity. Hit the guy who was uh, taking a crap. 
and finally embedded itself in the ground here. So I recommend get this mod, play with it. You can learn a lot from this mod. Um, I've played with it extensively and learned quite a few dirty little tricks as a result. You'll notice I carry that Zuber 45 pistol. That's a direct result of things that I did here. That pistol can punch through just about any kind of surface, barring, of course, the super white building. You know, this machine gun's growing on me. I kind of like it. So, there's a little bit of uh, ballistics technology in Arma and how it tracks every round and includes uh, penetration values and that kind of stuff. And Jasmine, you're passing out, huh? <laughs> Finally, coffee didn't help you out, huh? Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it just doesn't do it. Um, so give me here a moment, and I, I'm trying to basically practice Arma, so I'm probably going to end up loading up some other scenario and going at it again. So I'll just keep the stream running, and uh, we'll see what, we, what kind of trouble we can get into. I might go back to the dynamic war and actually concentrate on it and try and knock it out. Um, maybe we'll do a mission. Oh, I could show you this fun little mission. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll do holdout. Anyway, I'll be right back. You'll enjoy this. It's a lot of fun.
This is permadeath and I'm back. So since we're just kind of doing random arma stuff, let's uh let's do some random arma stuff. So let's abort out of this one. Yes. And let's do Nope, not hold out. We want to do where is it? There it is. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> Where did it go? Okay, I seem to have lost my mission. Okay, there it is. So this is just a silly little, you got to take on the bullies in the little town. <laughs> yeah, op for bullies are after you, take them out. Yeah, I found this one and it reminds me of an old pistol skirmish they had in Operation Flashpoint. Oh shit, survive. That's the best briefing ever. <laughs> oh, bastards. Is that guy? It's highly annoying. Oops. Yeah, this mission is actually a lot of fun. <laughs> it's simple. It's to the point, you know. Oh. Where is he? Uh oh. Oh, damn it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this one's just kind of instant fun action. And pistol skirmishes, by the way, can be some of the best good fun. Oh. Put me down like a rabid dog. I shouldn't have been out in the open anyway. <laughs> Oh, 
I think I had something pretty good going on in this place. Oh, as long as they don't drop me. I thought I had the element of surprise. Looks like he caught me on at the last second there. I saw you. Where'd you go? It'll get you, if you stay in one place too long, it'll get you for camping and you'll fail. Punishing his arm. How am I missing? Terrible shot. Gotta get my practice in. Come on now. Crap. I saw him too, there he is. Ugh. I got no ammo. Right about now, I'm really hoping I can remember where I dropped one of these guys and get his pistol. They're all kind of out in the open, all the guys that I dropped, unfortunately. For me. Okay, let's sweep around long. I don't see no bodies. There's one. Ooh, it's right out in the middle of open land. And I know there's a bad guy in that estate right there. Somewhere up there. If I can get this pistol, we'll be okay. Oh crap. Hmm. Shit, okay. Curses. Ah, oh, the bullies went and found another victim. No. <laughs> I 
Alright, you freaking bullies. Yeah, multiplayer, uh, we used to have a pistol skirmish in uh, Operation Flashpoint that was just amazing. Hello fun. All pistols, you know, the occasional submachine gun if you were lucky and can find it. Oh. I kind of knew that was coming. I'm thinking there's something weird with the zoom aim. I'm going to test a theory here real quick. Yeah, in any kind of scenario like this, whether it's paintball or shooting people with pistols to the drum boogie, you always want to capture a corner first and then work your way in. Always try and get out of the center as quickly as possible. Now see, this is where we would learn that if we had our heavier gun, we know that we could punch through this wall and just hit him. I see you. Where'd he go? Get him? I think I got him. Ooh. Oh, he was behind me. I knew it, too. I was just determined to get that one guy I had eyes on. <laughs> I do love this little skirmish. It's fun. Win it every once in a while, but it, it always proves to be a little bit of a challenge, for sure. Uh, the big thing is is the, the anti-camping. If you stay in any building for too long, like I'm going to guess about 30 seconds without moving around much, it calls you for camping and you fail. And if you take too long, it fails you. Oh. And you just cannot stay still for two seconds because they'll get you. I think the enemy AI skill is um, average. I don't think they're you know super juiced or hampered. I think they're just normal. Crap, I'm somewhat distracted here. Hold on. Hold on, bullies. So, was it you, 2-Bit, that mentioned uh, Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead about a week or so ago? Or do I have you mistaken for somebody else? I am curious. And welcome to the show, Jarrett. Haven't seen you in a while. 
No? Well, somebody mentioned this game, Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, and I kind of, I was like, eh, eh, and they were like, you don't know what you're talking about. So I, I looked into it, and yeah, they were right. It looks interesting. It's kind of a top-down, almost reminiscent of, like, Final Fantasy II. Um, you can, it, it's Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Have a look, um, anybody out there in, interested in such things. It's kind of retro, but it has hella content. As in, there's just a lot of stuff to do. Um, in any event, but yeah, I'm going to grab a quick beverage here, and then uh, we'll try and take on some bullies here. And then I might open up a dynamic Universal War system. This is Permadeath and I'm back. Let's take out some bullies. Ooh! It's it's like they miss their first shot pretty much almost every time, but then their second and third shots are on point. And I think I might actually have to turn my mouse sensitivity down. I seem to be over-aiming. I don't know, those of you who are watching that footage, you can let me know if it looks like I'm over or under-aiming. Because the speed of the aim is there. It just seems like I miss the target a lot because I'm either over or under-aiming. And unfortunately, I, I don't have time to critique my own aiming when I'm shooting. That was under aiming there. <laughs> that was just slow ass derp aiming. That's what we like to call derpy aiming. Oh my god. I think I just suck. Oh, I actually got him? Huh. Kind of amazed and stunned that I got that guy. I hear you.
Give me that gun. Give me those mags. Oh, it's taking too long. I gotta get this shit loaded. Go. Go. Get out of here. I see you. Uh-oh. <laughs> now we found out from Terminal Ballistics, I probably, if I would have put my brain behind it, probably could have shot him through this thing, because the first porta potty doesn't stop your bullets very much, but the second one sure does. Why the second one does, I don't know, but the first one, generally, most guns can punch through it. Oh, I got him. Uh-oh, we're almost timed out. The song is the timer. Come on, bullies, where you at? Bullies! Okay, I don't know where the last one is. It looks like he's not seeing me either, because I haven't nobody's taking a shot at me. It's gonna time me out. Aha. Oh crap. Where'd he go? I hear you. Same place? Got him. Nice. Oh. No! Zero were left! I won and lost simultaneously. <laughs> Talk about bringing it down to the last moment. Yeah, that one's called Survive? Survivor. Yeah, that one's also on Steam Workshop. Um, yeah, wonderful, uh, wonderful little pistol skirmish. A uh, great way to kind of get started and get your blood warmed up before you hop into something bigger. No, the 